Gold Rush Update The upcoming episode Ring of Fire from Gold Rush Season 14 is set to debut on Friday, January 12, 2024 The Gold Miner journey continues, unfolding with numerous new details Now let's delve into a sneak peek of what's in store for Episode 16 titled Ring of Fire, the 16th episode will feature Tony's attempt to resurrect an old machine in order to get the Paradise Hill Terrell back in operation for washing rocks. Meanwhile, a member of Parker's crew experiences a breakdown while trying to keep up with the intense pace adding to the drama the Macons resort to setting their trauma on fire as they strive to continue extracting gold with Kevin Beat's unsuccessful attempt to fix the Paradise Hill Trail. Run Tony is forced to explore. Alternative. Solutions will his new approach prove. Successful and finally alleviate the persistent problem causing him. Headaches on Parker's team some someone. Encounters difficulties operating the. Rock truck adding another layer of. Challenges in this episode viewers can expect to be introduced to a new group. Adding an intriguing element to the unfolding. Narrative introducing the make in a recent addition to the show mirroring the family model of Tony Beats Brian Mogan, alongside his two sons Gage and Bryce, engages in gold mining on a 70-acre claim at Eureka Creek Brian relocated his family to the Yukon in 2015 to embark on the quest for gold since leaving high school 23-year-old Bryce and 22-year-old Gage have been dedicated Full-time gold. Miners, despite three fruitful years at Eureka, they now face the challenge of dwindling. Hotspots their current focus is on locating promising ground for mining. In the upcoming year in the gold room, the role of processing the extracted gold falls under the responsibility of Sharon, the mom and office. Manager the family ventured into gold. Mining in 2012 due to economic Challenges in Alberta with Brian and Sharon navigating the complexities of running a business together in the previous episode, episode 15 titled Succession the Alaskan Permafrost Reverberated with tension Tony found himself in a struggle with a malfunctioning monster emitting bolts and gears like an angry dragon. Temperatures soared higher than a miner's mug of cocoa with Dustin and Mitch engaged in a heated debate, their voices echoing across the frozen landscape with the Beats dynasty crumble under the weight of their gold. Hungry ambitions, or could they rise from the ashes of the trawl? Rebellion meanwhile across the Yukon. River Parker Schnabel, always the gambler, set his sights on the uncharted. Territory of Australia Creek, his eyes gleamed with the possibility of untapped Riches a stark contrast to the muted browns of the fog ground, as the mammoth wash plant devoured. Mountains of gravel a glimmer of hope, appeared a nugget not large but a sign, that the gamble might just pay off good. Australia Creek become Parker's personal. Klondike his golden goose amidst the harsh Alaskan. Wilderness the episode took a poignant turn as we witnessed Kevin beats Tony's. Son arrive at a Crossroads with a heavy heart, he announced his decision to leave the mine, his journey ending not with a roar of machinery, but with a quiet goodbye, would his departure leave a crater in the Beats crew, or would it serve as a wake-up call, a reminder of the human cost of the gold rush across the border? In Oregon, Rick NES confronted his demons, having risked everything on his Scryer Creek claim, he faced a stark Choice double down or retreat with an audacious spirit. Mirroring Parker's Alaskan hustle Rick, decided to throw caution to the wind and return to Rally Valley, a land that had both blessed and cursed. Thank you for watching this video.